This will be a fraction division video. Uh, and what we're trying to do is divide 7 fifths by 2 thirds. So we're dividing 7 fifths by 2 thirds. And our final answer is going to wind up being 7 times 3 over 5 times 2. And we're going to prove how we get there through math. So, start off, we have our hole here. Our hole. We're going to divide that into 2 thirds. Because this is a measurement of division problem, essentially. <clears throat> we have two-thirds here. It is two-thirds of one group. And what is happening here is we have seven-fifths for every two-thirds of one group. Now with measurement of division you give a certain amount to each group. What we want to find is how much goes in one group, the whole group. Our whole right now is this, this whole square right here is our current whole. It is our, the square is our whole. But to make to break things down a little bit, we're going to go down to these two-thirds right here. We're going to pull our focus to these two-thirds right here. And within these two-thirds, seven-fifths is showing up. Now, to find out how much goes within these this entire whole, we're going to want to break down even that. We're going to want to break that down even more. So we have our two-thirds here and within those two-thirds we have seven-fifths. Now to find the the whole, how much goes into a whole, what we want to do first is break it, this down even more and divide it by two. We're going to go and just focus on a single third of our original whole or half of our current whole which is one, one, one half right here. So it's one half, only one half within, within this, this whole, our two thirds is the seven fifths. And then half of that is half of the seven fifths. So what we're going to do is we're going to divide this by two or multiply it by a half. So we're going to multiply it by one half. And that gives us the total amount within one half of these two thirds or one-third. Now we are left with a pretty simple way to solve here. We have one-third of a whole. Well, we want to find out how much is, it, is within the entire whole. So if one part is one part of three, it's one of three, we're going to want to multiply by three to find out how much is totaled within there. So we're going to take this amount here, our amount within the one-third, and now we're going to, to find our total whole how much goes within our total whole, our original whole, we are going to multiply by 3, which in this case we will write as 3 over 1. So this is essentially what our final answer will be. But we're going to simplify it. And it equals over to 7 times 3, because 3 times 1 is 3, over 5 times 2. Oh hey, seven over three, or seven times three, sorry. Seven times three over five times two. That is our final solution. Now you can simplify it even further and you'll wind up with 21 over 10. But for now that's all we need to do. Because that is how much goes within an entire whole.